Good morning, Modern Stedders. We were at the feed store the other day. I picked up a Redmond rock on a rope for the goats. Boy, my workshop's messy. But I don't want to hang it. We've had issues with hanging stuff with the goats. So I don't want to hang that in the barn. I want to see if I can find a screw so we can screw that in the barn. The reason I chose this one over a regular saw block is this one is just naturally mined and it's got some essential minerals and a little bit of copper. Kind of hoping I have a long enough screw. All right, we just need a washer, I think. That'll work. Just got a regular washer. That'll be perfect. Our friends who brought up the turkeys also brought us up some of the local organic grain that's made in their area. So thanks Carson, Jenna, Charlie, and Isabella. I hope these turkeys do awesome. I think they will. I didn't want the goats strangling themselves. You yeah. like that salt block there, Pluto? She's looking at it. I think she did. Or is that the grain? The grain. Green. That's um, the turkey's feed. Why'd you put the um, washer in the nail? Because we're gonna go screw it to the goat barn. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna finally put your door handle up on the inside. Yay, Pluto! Let's go. That must be really good turkey feed. Pluto, you think you're a turkey? Pluto, Olivia says if you think you're a turkey, we're gonna have you for Thanksgiving dinner. So you might wanna rethink that. I mean, unless you just like turkey feed. Don't know, don't know why you just like turkey feed. Is this a dog? Uh, I don't think so. Should we let them out? Yes, we'll let him out into the pen. Let me see. You gonna hurt him? You like that gate, huh? Yes. Yeah. Oh my willow. What are you doing? All right, let's put the handle on the door first. Okay. Let me know what you want it. Okay. You guys like that salt block already? Where do you want it? Right here. Right there, that's a good height. Yeah, right where the other door handle is. Okay. We got this, what, a month ago? Yeah. And we haven't installed it yet? Yes. How about for you there, Blossom. Let me see the handle. Take the handle. Okay. Yeah, now we got a little pull when we're closing the door. All right, we gotta figure out where to put the salt block. Okay, on the outside or the inside? We're gonna go on the inside, because if it's on the outside and it gets rained on, it'll melt. Is that hole already there from, from the string? Yep. Buttercup, we need you! Come here, Buttercup! Do we have leashes and collars in there? Yeah, we don't need that bad. We can just go like this. And then we can move it on the guitar or something. Yep. Yeah, right there. Let's make sure we put the screw up the other side of the board. Okay, yeah. Is the screw coming through? I have no idea. It could be behind the hay field. Say, so if it is, it's be. Oh, I see it. I gotta think this is it. No, it's right here. We gotta fix that. Maybe I'll have to loosen it a little bit. Okay, it's out. Really? Yeah. How about now? It's 
it just came in through the wall. Go, back out there. Yeah, so go out what, a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. It's not that they're not drinking. They're just not drinking as much as I'd like to see them drink. Come on, Willow, let's go see if you'll use it. Is that what the salt's for? Yeah, the salt will make them thirstier. Let's see. What do you think of that, Willow? She's like, what the heck is that? Does it scare you? What? You're scared of it? You're a crazy goat. Did she lick it? No, she said that's something new and I don't know what it is. Come here, Buttercup. No, Buttercup. You don't want turkey grain. Here, let's get you to try the salt flick. No. Oh, you're small enough I can pick you up still. Ugh. What do you think of it? You're not even going to lick it? She sniffed it. Yep. It goes the willow. Now she's checking out the drill. Why do we put the drill over there? See what she does. Alright, we'll have to catch you later on using the salt lick. Who do you mean, good girl? She's not even lying in the shade. She's lying right next to the tree. Where she was. Wonder where the pigs are. Bet you they're hiding somewhere in a cool spot. Oh, I hear them. Sausage! What are you doing, sausage? Is it cool in there? You're all muddy. I see Link. Yeah, Link's like, I'm not getting up. Oh, never mind. What are you doing? We hear you, Moose. We hear you. How do the new turkeys look? They're looking good. They're all staying together. You want to take their new food and dump it in? In the feeder? In the feeder, and then I'll have to get them some more water. There you go. And if you want to grab their water, I'll go wash that out and we'll give them some fresh water. I bet you they'll like that today. Yeah. It's pretty darn warm out. So we've been having a lot of viewers asking us about the stone walls. We have a stone wall here and one here and it runs up and then our driveway is up there and it stops right here but over here where our property line is it starts again. So I'm kind of thinking that it used to go the whole length and when they subdivided this property they might have dug it up, I'm not sure. Thinking it must have been an old lane that they'd run the cattle or something through. And then over there where our rock wall is on that property line, on the other side of that, there's another rock wall. It's like another lane. I'd love to find out the history and what the old farm here used to be called. That might take some digging to figure that out. You know what we did find in the beginning of spring? And I really never investigated it more. So I found some old milk jugs in the brook over here and one of the milk jugs uh, East Barnet Creamery Company Vermont so that's not here that's in Vermont which isn't too far from here with this one we have George O Carpenter I wonder if that was the person who had the farm here before there's no other stamps Huh. There's nothing else on this one. I have to Google search that. Was it G O? 
G O O Carpenter. All right, let's check that out. All right, so we just did a search. We have a book that's coming up. So the book that's coming up is Holstein something herd book containing records. So let's go. Oops. I don't know if I can print this off. So I couldn't get it to print, <clears throat> but I'm seeing the date 1918. And then we got a couple of carpenters in Littleton. We got George right there. Cow. Oops. Sorry. George right here. Cows and registration numbers. But I can't find out any more information. If you guys are good at this kind of research, let me know what you find out. So we know there was a carpenter in Littleton, New Hampshire, and it looks like they were a Holstein, or they had Holstein cows. So I'm going to do some research. I'm going to try calling my local historical society and see if they have any information on that. But it'd be pretty neat to find out the history here, how big of a farm it was, if we can find some pictures or not. So if anybody has any luck researching it online, let me know. I'm, this is pretty exciting. But now, I need to take the plow off the truck. We had to move it for the firewood. So here it is, 80 something degrees out. And we got to move our plow and stack firewood. Man. So until we sell this truck, I'm still running it for work. Guys, look how big this squash plant got. That thing is massive. I can't believe how big this squash plant has gotten. It was a volunteer plant that started growing in our compost pile. Now this to me is back to Eden gardening, the way it was meant to be. But look how huge it is, putting it into perspective with me there. And while we're over here, everybody keeps asking, where's Mr. Biggs? Where's Andy? They're up here by the greenhouse. <laughs> Might as well see what we got for eggs today. Nice. Well, I forgot to make an ending for a video, so I figured we'd scare the goats. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.